Fast forwarding a bit here later on in the match. I've gained some C bills on a couple of ranks so I start out with more money. As you can see I can now afford all the vehicles and many of the mechs. I'm going to go with the Hollander A variant. He's a bit of a favorite of mine. A heavy gauss rifle is walking death. Notice how I still have some money left over. I can use this now to purchase some battle armor weaponry should I need to eject. The battle armor can only carry two weapons, not counting the SRM pack he always has on, which you can switch to by pressing the 3 key on your keyboard. Press J to drop a weapon, and I'm going to load up on a man pack PPC and an AC2. Don't forget to buy C8 if you can. Alright, here we go. The Hollander A only has one weapon, the Heavy Gauss. It's very powerful, but has shorter range compared to the normal Gauss rifle. I have room for extra ammo, so I'm going to load up on some before I head out. The Hollander is a mech that supports jump jets. To jump jet, press and hold the spacebar. You can use this as a means for tactics in combat or in order to reach a higher ground. Holding the W key while jump jetting will propel you forward. Note that while using jump jets, you will generate a lot of heat. It's a little dark here, so I'm going to activate my night vision. To do so, press the I key. Alright, I'm going to try to take his legs out in order to immobilize him. Got the sucker. I like to see my victims suffer a bit. Notice how I earned a rank here. You don't have to make a kill in order to rank up. Looks like he's a bit stuck there, so how about I jump out and help him out? To leave your mech without ejecting, first power down with the P key. Then to leave, press F. Note that if you do not power down first, you will eject from your mech. This will destroy your head component, allowing enemy battle armor to jump into your mech, or enemy fire to deal direct damage to the pilot inside. Here I just threw a C8 satchel on him, using the G key. Also, to switch weapons as a battle armor, press the G key. You can also change your grenade type by pressing H. There are a few things not covered in this video that are important to mention. To repair your mech or vehicle, power down with the P key in a mech bay in any friendly mech hangar. This will subtract C bills from you and repair your mech. Note that you can't repair a destroyed component. To donate C bills with another ally, press the right control key as a battle armor and navigate the menu using the arrow keys. It's a great way to get higher level mechs early on in the match. Finally, your coolant. Your mech or vehicle carries a limited amount of coolant in which you can use by pressing the C key. Coolant is used to rapidly cool your mech if you are overheating. If you overheat past a certain point, your mech will go into an auto shutdown state. This can be overridden with the O key should you choose, however if you run too hot you will start to self damage all your components and eventually kill yourself. And that just about covers the basics of the Mech Warrior Living Legends beta. Feel free to explore other options such as the track vehicles, aerospace, with the VTOLs. This was Korjax from Mech Warrior Living Legends. If you want to drop by our forums or want to download a keyboard map to reference while you play, visit us at www.mechlivinglegends.net.